we are here to discuss Amit Dutta's film Dan Suk, which serves as a compelling example of the cinema of Prayoga. Coined by film historian Amrit Kangar, this term describes the films that challenge the conventional division between art and commerce. Instead of conforming to established norms, these films prioritize the practice of cinema itself. The inclusive nature of the cinema of Prayoga emphasizes the values of rediscovery and restoration, both of which are embodied in Nan Suk. In Nan Suk, Datta breaks free from traditional storytelling techniques and explores a more expansive and inclusive approach to filmmaking. The film takes on visual journey, reimagining the artistic legacy of Nan Suk. Drawing inspiration from Nan Suk's paintings, Datta infuses these timeless artworks with new vitality. Through meticulous attention to details, skilled craftsmanship and captivating cinematography, he transports us to a realm where art and cinema harmoniously converge. This convergence encourages us to appreciate the interconnectedness of these artistic mediums and invites us to engage in a process of exploration and reinterpretation. Nan Suk invites us to reflect on the dynamic relationship between art and cinema, urging us to challenge the preconceived notions and embrace the potential for discovery and restoration. It is through this fusion that Datta showcases the profound impact of Nan Suk's legacy and inspires us to recognize the transformative power of the cinema of Prayoga. The Pahari school of painting emerged in the 17th century in the region now known as Himachal Pradesh. This style of painting is characterized by its delicate brushwork, subtle colors and attention to detail. Nan Suk was one of the most influential artists of this school and his innovative approach elevated the art form to new heights. Nan Suk's paintings are known for their ability to capture the human form and emotions, particularly in his depictions of women. His paintings are an important part of India's artistic legacy and continue to be regarded as some of the most important examples of Pahari painting to this day. Amit Datta's film brings Nan Suk's paintings to life, using them as an inspiration for a series of vignettes that showcase their beauty and complexity. The film is an homage to the Pahari school of painting and to the talent of Nan Suk himself. Palwant Singh was a ruler of the princely state of Jasrota, which was located in the present-day Jammu and Kashmir region. He was a patron of Nan Suk, providing him with financial support and a platform to showcase his art. Nan Suk, in turn, produced paintings that reflected the cultural and social milieu of the Pahari region. The film portrays the relationship between Nan Suk and Balwant Singh as one of mutual respect and admiration. With the patronage of Balwant Singh, Nan Suk was allowed to hone his craft and produce some of the most significant works of Pahari painting. Nanya. The values of rediscovery and restoration are central to the cinema of Prayoga and they are embodied in Amit Datta's film. Through his use of Nan Suk's paintings, Datta brings new life to these timeless artworks, showcasing their beauty and complexity in a new medium. The film encourages us to look anew at the Pahari school of painting to rediscover its beauty and richness and to restore it to its rightful place in the history of Indian art. One of the most striking aspects of the film is the way it allows us to see the paintings in a new light. By animating the paintings, Datta brings out their full potential, showing us the ways in which they capture the emotions and experiences of the people of the Pahari region.
The film also emphasizes the importance of context in understanding these paintings. By showing us the world in which Nansuk lived and worked, the film helps us to understand the significance of his paintings and the role they played in the cultural and social life of the region. In conclusion, Nansuk prompts us to reflect on the dynamic relationship between art and cinema, encouraging us to challenge preconceived notions and venture into uncharted territories. It serves as a testament to the transformative power of the cinema of Prayoga, which celebrates the practice of cinema itself and invites us to reimagine the boundaries of artistic expression. Nansuk captivates our senses and stimulates our intellectual curiosity. It reminds us of the profound impact that art can have on our collective consciousness and underscores the importance of embracing the spirit of rediscovery and restoration in our own creative endeavors. As we conclude this discussion, let us continue to explore the rich tapestry of cinema, celebrating the fusion of art and storytelling, and embracing the boundless possibilities of the cinema of Prayoga. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the world of Nansuk. <laughs>